If you're looking for things to do in Tijuana, Mexico, keep watching this video. Now we are at Mercado Hidalgo and they have everything here from fruits, vegetables, anything you need for the kitchen. They have party supplies, piñatas, candies, you can get everything here. They also have restaurants, they have birria, they have traditional food, Mexican food, they have a lot of tamales here, hot chocolate, everything you want to find, it's in one place. This is the most popular mercado here. There's different ones here in TJ, but this is the one that we come to. We are now in front of the Secut Cultural Center and you can see that ball behind me that shows a IMAX theater and it's the only one here in TJ. inside they actually have a museum that has a bunch of stuff about Mexico traditional Mexican stuff we're about to go inside and check it out Outside of this theater, they have expos from all around Mexico, all the different states. They have from Puebla, Expo Oaxaca, Expo Mexico, and it's a pretty nice event to come over and try different dishes, candies, or all the different things that they do in their states. We are here at Plaza Rio. It is right next to the Secut, and there is two things that we like doing when we come here to Plaza Rio. thing is coming to the movies and we like Cinepolis VIP. They have a lot of movies to watch, they have reclining seats, they have food, they have drinks, they have alcohol, they have sushi, they have popcorn, nachos, everything you can imagine and you can order in your seat or you can order inside and they bring your food or drinks to your seat. And also the movies are in English and they have the Spanish subtitles. And our second thing we like to do here is we come to Tia Juana's Donut Bar. They have delicious donuts. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Taste test time. Let's do it. <laughs> mm. Delicious, first of all. Mine tastes like a Krispy Kreme glazed donut with M&Ms and I love both, so I'm gonna have to say 10 out of 10 on this one. If you're a chocolate lover like I am, this is your go-to. The Ferrero donut is really good. It looks good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Here, give it same time. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with mine. That's a lot of chocolate right there. I like chocolate. <laughs> I like the bathrooms here. They got Marge and Homer Simpson holding a donut. For those of you wondering, Plaza Rio is a mall and it's five minutes away from the border and they got a bunch of stores here. They got restaurants. As you've been riding around or driving around TJ, you've probably noticed these roundabout statues like the one I have behind me. That's Cuauhtemo, aka Cuau. And anytime the Mexican soccer team wins, everybody comes right here to celebrate. And talking about sports, I wanted to let you guys know about the three main teams that Tijuana has. And the first one is the Cholos or the Cholos Quinklets. It's a professional soccer team. They're in the first division and they play for Liga MX or the Mexican League. The second sporting team that they have here is the Zonkies and they're a professional basketball team. 
And the third professional team that they have here is the Toros, and that's the baseball team. They've won a couple of championships. It's cool to go to the game and watch them play here in TJ. We are now here at Playas de Tijuana. This is a hot spot to come to because it's right next to the U.S. border where it meets San Diego, Imperial Beach. It's crazy how it's a difference from the Mexican side to the U.S. side because the Mexican side you got music, everybody's drinking, partying, having fun, getting in the water. And on the Imperial Beach side, there's nothing going on. And if you're looking for the Tijuana sign, it's here in Playa de Tijuana. It's right behind me, as you can see. It's right next to the big lighthouse. You guys can't miss it. So this is the fence line right behind me. I'm on the Mexican side. And just like that, you can see the US side. So once you're done with your coconut water, you enjoy your coconut. There are all kinds of bars and restaurants that have a ocean view right here in Playas de Tijuana. A bunch of them are good. They got a lot of good seafood. So you pick which one's the best and let me know in the comment box below. The number one question I get when I come to Tijuana is where do you go to eat the number one tacos? And that easy is very... That easy, that easy. is question. That easy is question. That, that, easy, that easy is very question. <laughs> and the number one spot here in Tijuana is Taco Naso. Sorry people, if you like something else, go ahead and put them in the comment box below. Our number two spot is Tacos El Frank. We like it because it's open a little later than Taconazo. That way you could go to the after party and then uh, you know you have something to eat afterwards. Okay, so I'm very traditional. I like the carne asada tacos, they're really good. Corn tortilla, handmade, delicious meat. What else can you ask for? First I got a carne asada taco with the corn tortilla. I like to put a little red sauce and guacamole with a little bit of salt. Delicious. I also got a carne asada quesadilla and these things go right down the hatch. Life is good. Okay guys, we are now on Revolution Avenue. People call it La Revo for short. And right here you could do all kinds of stuff like go to bars. They have all kinds of crazy nightlife here. Uh, the number one thing to do for tourists though is to come get picture taken with the zonkey. It's a half donkey and half zebra. So they call it the zonkey and it's the Tijuana mascot. So that's something to do here. We took our picture. We usually get it every year. And this year we got it done right here. We have the Ark right behind us. It's a symbol here in TJ. You can see it right there, boom. It's kind of like the St. Louis Ark. So it's just something to come take a picture of. And the cool thing is you could see it from San Diego. Okay, so now we are here at Plaza Santa Cecilia. It's located right next to the Ark. And you can find here a lot of restaurants, bars, 
tortillas with Mexican traditional stuff, stores like sarapes, sombreros, stuff like that. And they have sometimes live music. We really hope you guys enjoy this video of things to do in Tijuana. If you want to give us a like, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want another video like this, you can check out this video right here to things to do in Rosarito. Or Ensenada right here. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click on that button right there. And we will see you guys on the next one.